The IPO market has been showing signs of life again. Leading the charge has been Kenview, Kava, Super Value Village, and Kodiak. Investors have been excited about them, although they haven't proven to hold much weight in the market. Yesterday, Shark Ninja, a lifestyle and kitchen appliance producer, was another company that joined the growing list, going public on the New York Stock Exchange. The company spun off from JS Global uh, with the household appliance company, seeing $3.7 billion in net sales during 2022. Let's bring in now Shark Ninja president and CEO Mark Barocas to discuss with us I was there yesterday for the uh, festivities down at the New York Stock Exchange. Great, uh, nice large crowd, by the way. Um, why, why come public this way? It wasn't a traditional IPO, it's a spinoff. Just give us a little background. Well, we've been a Hong Kong publicly listed company. We've been a subsidiary of Hong Kong publicly listed company, JS Global. But we think Shark Ninja has a great story to tell. And we think the New York Stock Exchange is the right place for us to tell that story. We're a highly diversified consumer products company with nearly $4 billion in revenue. We've got a great profitability profile and a strong demonstrated track record of organic growth. In fact, our business back in 2008, 15 years ago, was under a $200 million business. And during all of that period of time, all of our growth has been organic. We've never acquired a dollar of revenue. And so do you, do you do your, I guess, inventing your product development, all of that is in-house then? And I just, let me use this opportunity to, if you can tell us what other products, because I know the Shark, I know the Ninja, what else do you guys have? So we go to market under two really well-respected brands, uh, as you said, uh, and multi-billion dollar brands. Shark is a market leader in cleaning, floor care, home environment and beauty. Ninja is, does just about everything in and around the kitchen and now goes outside the home with our outdoor cooking products. We're in 27 different product categories. We sell in 25 markets around the globe. Um, all of our products are developed in-house you know, by our engineering team, both in Boston, in London, and in China. Uh, I assume you have your finger on the pulse of the consumer here. I'm wondering what trends have you noticed as we emerge from the pandemic? All kinds of things have gone on, but what are you seeing from your vantage point? Well, look, I mean, we, we have a large team of ethnographic researchers, and, and that's a big driver of where our ideas come from, is trying to identify either known or unknown consumer problems. And then we have a team of over 700 engineers around the world in all facets of engineering, mechanical, electrical, software, mechatronics, app IoT, that's working to be able to develop innovative products to, to solve those problems. Uh, you know, trends that we see, I mean, consumers want more multifunctionality. You know, they want better performance, um, but they also want extraordinary value. And we think that Shark Ninja really brings that whole combination to them. I'll say simplicity, too. I happen to be a ninja owner, and I appreciate the fact that I can get things done with one button, if that's all I know. Uh, but tell us, what do you have on the horizon here? Anything exciting? You don't have to share, uh, you know, spill the beans on all the secrets, but areas that you might be going into new ones. So, so I'll give you just a few examples. I mean, we, we launched into the beauty business. We have a product called the Shark Flex Style Hair Styler. Uh, you can go on to TikTok or Instagram. I mean, it's uh, um, you know doing fantastic and getting really great reviews. We entered into the outdoor cooking business with our Ninja wood fire products, both a grill and an oven. You know, again, giving you multifunctionality. You know, outside the home as well. Consumers had such a great experience with Ninja products in the home. They're now willing to give us a chance outside the home. And just last week, we launched a new product called the Ninja Thirsty. It's an at-home beverage maker. It makes still or sparkling drinks. It allows you to be able to dispense just a cup um, and it you know, uh, makes 20 different types of drinks. So lots of different products and lots of different categories. All right, wanna end on a slightly serious note. We talk about inflation and the potential for recession here a lot. Anything you're seeing that points to a slowdown in the consumer or is the consumer just roaring strong still? Well, look, I mean, we're obviously, you know, conscious of the inflationary challenges that the consumer has faced. And we do everything we can with our global supply chain to make sure that we're keeping prices down and we're making affordable, accessible innovation for consumers. Consumers are going to continue to expect more. Uh, if they're going to part with their hard-earned money, it really needs to be a product that uh, they, they love and that they think they're getting extraordinary value. And so, 
We think if we can keep delivering it, you know, they'll keep choosing Shark or Ninja.